Dear League of Legends, how am I ever going to begin this video? Do you remember when we first met? It was the spring of 2009. You were adorable and charming. They called you a beta. My friend introduced us. I had never seen a game like you before. I'm not gonna lie. I know you knew my ex, World of Warcraft. I know you don't like when I bring that game up, but just don't get jealous. You guys are nothing like each other and I was excited to try something new. I was excited to try you. Your client was old and rusty and you had just a few champions. Oh, and your connectivity was crap, but that didn't stop me from giving you a shot. People were playing Ash mid, buying attack items on AP champions and dying in the jungle, so they resorted to playing Nunu and Warwick just to get through the damn thing. Sometimes two or three people would go bottom because why not? And I think I saw a few top laners take Smite too, and use heal when they were ignited. Oh, the joys of playing a brand new game. I love the hell out of you in your virgin state because nobody knew what was going on or how special these early days would be. You were so cute as a baby before you got all serious and popular. I enjoyed our early days together much more than I ever would. I soon found an early attachment to one of your champions named Garen. My friend showed me how to hide in a bush and do a spinny thing to kill anyone who walked in. Oh, I mean, wreck a noob who face checked. Sorry, I was still getting new to the terminology. Champions were simple back in the day. There really wasn't much to them. Heroes like Ash, Annie, Rise, and Kale. Not too crazy to memorize or worry about. There wasn't much to the game. No multi-tier dragons, complicated mechanical abilities, or complex champions. You were my sweetheart for a long time. Nothing could match the feeling of meeting you when you were new and fresh and being a part of a community during those early days. I started to meet other League players who were equally as clueless as I was as well. We lost a lot of games together, but we had so much fun because all around us, people were equally crappy. That's the great part of meeting a new game for the first time when it's new. You grow together and the game isn't filled with smurfs. We went through the learning together, game by game. Slowly we got better at killing monsters, oh sorry, I mean last hitting creeps, and buying the right items. Well, almost. I never learned that you shouldn't buy Madrids on Ash until it actually became a thing. I started to play you more and more as time went on, and play my other games less and less. Those were the days, but you sure have changed since then. From season 1 onward, I developed an insatiable appetite for you. After I learned all the ropes from the beta, my curiosity only grew. New video games like you make people excited, especially since the MOBA was more or less a game mode than an actual game before you came around. MOBAs originated as custom map add-ons born from the inner workings of mostly Warcraft 3. The most popular ones, including Defense of the Ancient, inspired you and Dota to branch out into your own standalone game. During Season 1, you introduced us to a meta, which is a fancy word for best strategy. This covers your champions, item builds, who goes where, and the priorities of gameplay, i.e. the general tactics for winning a match. In layman's terms, what you should be doing in a game. As a free-to-play game with progressive updating, these strategies changed a lot over time. So it piqued my interest, having to continue to learn and grow as a player. Keep up on what the best players did, formulate strategies to win games, and counter what was most played. You were an endless source of forever changing gameplay that was easy to pick up and play, but definitely hard to master. You always evolved and new content was created for whatever the developers thought the community needed, so if they didn't like one aspect of you, they could switch things up on the fly. This would prove to be both good and bad in the future. As the years went on, I began to play you even more, diving into ranked match after ranked match, desperately trying to get a high elo rank. By fitting your pieces together, I was able to appreciate your complexity of your whole. Teamwork, attention to detail, CSing, proper ward placement, juking, baiting, diving, picking counters, and outsmarting my opponent's late game. The best part was, every game was a restart. I honestly found that we were good for each other at the beginning. You fed me endless hours of competitive content for free, barely asking anything in exchange, less a few dollars here or there for the odd skin. And by the way, I really liked what you did with Pulse Fire Caitlyn. I got good, really good. When you decided to make the switch from ELO to tiered rankings, I landed at the top. 
Four seasons in a row, I climbed to your Diamond League, fighting harder every season and playing more with each new update. I mastered each piece of you very intimately, from being an aggressive AD carry to surprising my opponents with unexpected picks from the draft. Together we took AP Alistar mid, Glass Cannon Lee Sin top, and middle sticks to the top of Diamond year after year. My mechanics with you were golden and I could always outsmart and outdo my opponents. It just seemed like we were destined for each other. Update after update came and change after change came as you grew to becoming my most favorite game on the planet. But then I started to realize that you were changing way too fast. I wasn't the only one falling for you. Before I could even blink three times, it seemed like the entire world was hungry to play you too. Players got really good at an alarming rate. I could not believe how quickly things turned and my matches soon became incredibly hard and arduous. New champions were popping out all the time, threatening to choke out my very aggressive and loose playstyle. And you know what? I had become a really great at the one-on-one. -on -one. Shields were getting out of control. Every new champion had a dash, a teleport, a blink, some sort of escape that would absolutely drive me mad when I would try to lock them down. Healing became more powerful and tanks were becoming way too hard to kill. Builds were becoming polarized into one-size-fits-all Google searches. With the click of a button, everyone had access to the best items, the best runes, masteries, and strategies. Elements that I had acquired over the course of many years of play. Suddenly, the 1v1 became the 1v2, and then the 1v3 and the 1v4. I could not find a fair fight anywhere, as the influx of new CC mechanics and team-based shielding abilities pushed people to stick together. People stopped trying new builds, instead relying on what the pros were doing online in the streams. The first streams and tournaments were incredibly exciting, but soon all the best practices of the game were exposed to the world. There were no secrets anymore. Tournaments showed exactly how we should play the game, despite if it was the most fun way to play the game. They exposed my most secretive locations to hide pink wards, what champions were strong, what champions were weak, what champions were good against the champions I played. They showed the world everything I had acquired since the beta, all of my hard work just exposed to everyone. The days of experimenting and personalizing your champion were dying out, replaced by summoners simply running out and copying a better player. I knew you like the back of my hand and I knew what champions I could not beat. To my dismay and suddenly, so did everybody else. With a few clicks of their mouse, everyone had access to the dreaded counter list in which you didn't have to be good at the game anymore. You simply selected the champion at the top of the list after you saw what your opposition had selected. You could even go to a specific website and pull up a player's profile during the loading screen to see what items he or she usually got, and that way you could prepare your build against it. The champion pool soon dried up as players had this new gold mine of data to get the upper hand on everyone else. This was priceless information that you used to have to work for, but now anyone with Google Chrome could beat you. I think you lost something during this stage to be honest. For the first time, I felt some distance to you. You weren't new anymore, you were glowing in the spotlights of popularity, and you were changing way too much. People around the world joined in and kept getting better. The game began to get incredibly competitive overnight, only because everyone knew what to do now. I started to see these flaws tearing you down, but I couldn't shake them. I wanted to let go and accept you for what you were becoming, and it only worked for a little bit. I felt a profound sadness though, at the thought that my favorite game, you, was turning into an all-you-can-eat buffet of predefining item builds, best-in-class rune setups, and fiercely competitive play. You started to get less fun as you got more systematic. Down and down I went, beaten down by the same champions using the same builds and the same comps I had seen over and over and over on a website and a TV screen. As such, we stopped talking for a little while. I told myself I wasn't going to go back to you because I wasn't having fun, but you lured me back in time and time again until one day I had had enough. Dear League of Legends, I've grown up a lot since we first got together. I've gotten older, I've grown and I've matured. I don't like what you've turned into. I miss the way you used to be, 
Maybe I'm being nostalgic, but I don't feel like I am. I've definitely tried the new you, and you are not the same. I miss our early days together, experimenting and exploring a new game with a new audience. An audience that didn't need to pull up a spreadsheet to play the game. <sighs> I sure do miss the old you. So today I'm going to move on with my life without you. Sincerely, Tone Low.